Okay, hey guys. So it was requested several times over the last couple of months for me to make a video talking about my World of Warcraft characters and just kind of showing you like what realms I play on and everything and just, you know, showing you my transmogs or whatever. Um, so basically I've been playing World of Warcraft for about 11 years. My brother and I started playing, I think it was like six-ish months before the Burning Crusade was gonna come out. So we were like there for like towards the end of Vanilla WoW. Um, my brother started playing then and then I was like 10? No, I was like 11-ish years old or something like that. And I would like watch him and I'd be like, what the hell? Like, what is that game? I'd never even like heard of an MMO at the time. And at first I like made fun of him for playing. I was like, that's stupid. Like, why would you play that? And then before you know it, I was sneaking onto his laptop when he was not playing and I was playing all the time. Um, so yeah, and here we are about 11 years later, something like that. I don't even know if that's actually, I, it's been a while. I think we have the receipt. I have the old box of the original <laughs> World of Warcraft game. It might've been like 2005 or six. I can't really remember it. I'm, I'm bad at math. It's been a long time that I've been playing. Um, so yeah, for the first couple of years, we did share an account. I think it wasn't until wrath of the lich king that i got my own separate account so i obviously don't have my old characters to show you guys but they are still on his account somewhere <laughs> they are still there um so back in the day i used to play alliance um and actually hold on a second um yeah so back in the day i used to play alliance a lot um the main thing that got me into world of warcraft was watching the original World of Warcraft trailer where they had like the night elf that shapeshifted into cat form and I was like oh my god I need to play this game just to be a cat and yeah so that's where it all started I do want to make a separate video kind of talking about like my first couple years on WoW and like the types of things that I did and how I played the game back then um, because it wasn't until really near the end of Wrath and into Cataclysm that I started to even know what like rating was or anything so yeah, my experience with WoW has been like different than most people. It's not that I can look back and remember like raiding with a guild back in like vanilla WoW. Like I've never got to experience that. But yeah, I will make a separate video talking about that. I just kind of want to give some background. So anyways, this is my main. Um, this is my Hunter Sylvanas, which obviously basically role playing as Sylvanas as I play. Um, so I've had this character for as long as I've had my own account. So I'd say like seven, eight years or something like that if I were to ballpark it. Um, I was originally a survival hunter um, for like years and years, which is hence my YouTube name, Lady Survival. It was kind of like a mashup of Lady Sylvanas and playing a survival hunter. I thought that that would be very fitting for my channel. Um, but since they changed survival in Legion, I believe it was, and it was like with pole arms and like melee range, I just did not like it. It did not feel like a hunter anymore to me. Um, so yeah, and then of course with the artifact weapons, I wanted to have the marksmanship weapon. So, um, for a while I was marksmanship and then recently, like in Battle for Azeroth slash at the end of Legion, I switched to Beast Mastery and I was really, really enjoying that. Um, but then recently again, I switched back to marksmanship and yeah, um, usually I have my bow transmog to the Legion artifact thing, but right now I don't. Um, so yeah, this is my level 120 hunter. I got her to level 120 and I believe like 11, 9 or 11 hours, something around then when Battle for Azeroth launched, I just played through. Um, yeah, currently she's, I level 389. Um, the rest of my characters, like my other two 120s, I don't have a whole lot of them because I hate questing at like max level. Questing is super fun for me, like for low level characters, hence why I have a lot of alts, but once it gets to like around like level 100 plus i'm just like oh i don't want to do this i feel like it's because it's more like recent that you've done and all that stuff that it's like i don't want to replay it if i just played it kind of thing so anyways yes i am talking about my hunter a lot because she's really the only like good <laughs> character that i have so i've been trying really hard to stay as geared as possible um despite the fact i haven't really had a guild to raid with um, I did at the very beginning of Battle for Azeroth and I was doing really well and like raiding with them weekly and then out of nowhere the guild leader went on hiatus and the whole guild just like fell apart and I haven't been able to find one that kind of works with my schedule since then so I've just been doing pugs 
and stuff. So yeah, my 389 Hunter, she has the Eagle of Thorn um, transmog, which is from the Nighthold and Emerald Nightmare from Legion. So this is the best transmog in the game. I'd have to say I don't have the boots because I personally don't like the look of the big clunky boots. So I was like, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's my Hunter. She's amazing. Um, Moving down to my next character is my mage. Um, she is a frost mage with a fire looking transmog because that sounded like a cool thing to do. So yeah, her name is Glacier. I've had her for probably about the same time I've had my hunter and yeah, I don't play her a whole lot. Like I was saying, like I literally have only geared my hunter. The rest of them, it's like they're below like I think my mage maybe has like 335 item level like I barely touched her and then my my rogue down below her is like literally barely 300 eye level like I just hit 120 and like logged out so yeah that's my mage she's pretty cool I actually do like my hunters or um sorry I actually do like my rogues transmog like a lot like almost more than my hunters I think it's really really cool um these shoulders Usually you see a lot of like druids wearing them. I feel like night elves and taurins are always wearing these shoulders, but I thought it was super cool for a rogue. It looks very neat. Um, then I have this mask on, um, the typical slutty leather shorts kind of thing and the high boots and some sick daggers. I think she looks really awesome. So her name is Widow. She is a assassin rogue, I'm pretty sure. I switch out a lot sometimes, so I can't really keep track all the time. Um, so those are my only three 120s currently. I'm trying to work on my Paladin next. Um, so this Paladin, I recently changed her transmog. I used to have like the judgment set on, but recently when I started leveling her again, I decided that it would be cool to have kind of like a goth Paladin because it kind of goes against just like, oh, Paladins are all for the light, but I'm just going to be a gothic, edgy, <laughs> tombstone um, <laughs> shield. I thought that she was really cool. So her name is Bright, which again is, I think, really funny because she is the opposite of Bright, clearly. Um, down below here, I have just a random demon hunter that I only did like the beginning quest line on um, just to kind of try them out. I do eventually want to actually level her. Um, I think the name that she has was just randomized, um, the Delaria. I don't even know how you would say that, but I did not pick that name. I just thought it looked freaking cool. Um, down below here, I have a Restoration Druid. Um, so I don't really do pretty much all that I've ever been comfortable doing is DPS, like when it comes to raiding and stuff, at least. My Paladin is a Protection Paladin, and I do tank dungeons and stuff, but I start to get nervous with tanking, like I'll level up with paladins and warriors as a tank up until around like 90-ish to 100 and then I start to get a little bit nervous. I'm just not comfortable with all that pressure. So yeah, same with healing. Healing kind of makes me nervous, but this has got to be the highest level healer I've had and I do like doing dungeons. I don't know if I'm raid ready, but hopefully eventually I can do that. And I really do want to get this character to level 100 so I can see the um, artifact shapeshift forms because I've never had a druid to level 100 um, with all that legion stuff and everything so yeah she's pretty cool her name is Sinon um, that's something that Lita um, it's like a name of her characters that she has had on WoW before so that's kind of what that is um, down below here um, I have a warrior her name is Fallen Star um, I haven't really touched her transmog I'm not really a fan other than the swords which is the twin blade of the phoenix um, they're pretty cool. I haven't touched this character in like a long time, like well over a year. Um, so yeah, don't even know what spec she is. I mean, she's dual wielding, so it must be like Fury or something. I, I haven't played a warrior in a long time. Um, then down here I have a priest, um, a level 87 Night Elf Priest. Um, don't even know what spec she is. She might be holy or could be discipline I'm not really sure again pretty much once I get down to like halfway through my character list it's like I don't really touch these characters often it's just like I'll just go on them if I'm like having a nostalgic day where I'm like oh I really want to quest in this zone I'll just go into a random character that's like at that level so yeah uh, down here we have a warlock named seductive she has a super basic transmog right now again I should probably hop on her and update a few of my characters transmogs at some point 
Um, then down here I have a Death Knight named Shattered. Um, again, same thing, she just has the basic Death Knight armor on. I don't even think it's transmog. I think it's just... It might be transmogged. I don't I don't really remember. It's been, again, like probably over a year since I've touched her. Um, but she's pretty cool. I always like how they can have the icy blue hair and the glowing blue eyes and everything. Uh, then down here, I have another paladin. She is mostly wearing the heritage armor. I think I just need to retransmog with the boots. And I had a different shield than that, I think. But um, paladins are one of my favorite classes to level up in terms of the instant cues for dungeons and everything. And I really... Do you like tanking like I was saying just up to a certain level and then I'm like eh, I don't know so yeah this is my main realm I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven characters on it currently um yeah and I really only touch like the top couple ones for the most part um so yeah my main realm kill Jaden um but I do have a lot of characters spread out amongst other realms so Windrunner is my next kind of like main realm that I play on uh, just for fun. I have a lot of <laughs> just ignore these. I was making, I was gonna role play some stuff here. <laughs> I really don't, I'm just gonna delete them. I'm not ever gonna do anything with these. Um, I just made a few characters based off of Lita's book, the Mooncaller series, and I don't know. I just wanted to see what they would look like in game. I don't really need them here. Um, so here we have a priest. Um, this is an alliance priest that I boosted with Battle for Azeroth because I figured that I wanted to play an alliance character to see like their perspective and everything. And I haven't really touched her a whole lot. She's just level 112, so as you can see, barely have played her, but I will eventually at some point get around to that. Um, I actually, I didn't boost her from like zero, I actually was playing this character. I got her to probably like a month or two before Battle for Azeroth, I was like questing on her up to like level 40 and I was really really loving her, like a lot. Um, I was going through like a white main phase at the time because they just released white main on Heroes of the Storm so I was all like, oh my god, I love Sally white main. So I made her and then I boosted her because I loved her a lot and now I haven't really touched her but I will get back to her at some point and I really like having Zalatath. As my weapon with the whole Sylvanas, sorry my ear is itchy, with the whole Sylvanas thing and Battle for Azeroth happening with Zalatath is kind of like very cool. Um, next I have a, another Warlock. Um, I do re-roll classes like a lot. You'll see that I have a lot of duplicates of the same things because I just randomly will crave to quest this one and that's what I do. So this is a Warlock named Elizrians. Elizrians? I don't know. Sometimes I just come up with really random names that I think just look cool. Haven't played her since like Warlords of Draenor. It's been a while. Um, down here I have a another warlock uh, that I named Lady Survival, just after my own character. I thought it'd be cool um, to have a character named Lady Survival so that if someone ever saw me and if they do watch my channel or follow me, they might be like, oh my god, it's you. Um, so that's why that's a thing. And yep, so there's that. Um, down here. We have a, a Nightborn Hunter that I was trying out as survival. Um, I just thought that would be cool. I think our transmog is sick because it's all like fiery and stuff and I just think really cool how like she's all like icy hair and all that stuff and then just has a fiery transmog and a sick tiger as a pet. So I was having a lot of fun questing as her for a while. Like I said, I just get random like urges to play certain classes and then I just leave them. Um, <laughs> And I have a priest here uh, named Lithinia, I guess would be. She's pretty cool. She's a disciplined priest. I haven't touched her in a while either. Uh, down here we have a hunter, yet again, a survival hunter. Like, I literally don't know why. Why, why is this necessary? But it, it is. Um, her name is Silvania, Silviania. I just come up with names that kind of sound like Sylvanas. Um, so yeah, then I have another warrior named Tainted, uh, obviously protection warrior, um, again, to get those instant cues in dungeons, and this sword was my favorite sword in game for such a long time, but like looking at it now, it's actually so like underwhelming. Like it's cool, but it's like really, it's just kind of stupid. Another one that I have not touched, just a random character from Lita's book that I just wanted to see. 
Um, so that is the Realm Windrunner. I actually really do at some point want to switch my Hunter over to Windrunner so that it'll, if someone sees my name, it'll be like Sylvanas on the Windrunner Realm. I thought it would be cool. Um, so this is the Realm of Lyria. Um, this is kind of getting into realms that I don't often go on to. Again, it's just random alts and stuff. Um, so I had a class trial character named Alindridi. I have not actually purchased the, the boost or anything, but I wanted to make her because my first ever character that I played on my brother's account was a night elf druid named Alindridi. So I thought it'd be cool to like, since I don't have her anymore because she's not on my account, it would be like, oh, let's like just remake her. But I don't really want to spend the money on that since I do have a druid on my realm, Kill Jaden. That's like level 96. So it's like I'm almost, almost up to max level. So it's like whatever. This is a random mage, which clearly has not been transmogged or anything. Um, named Soledria, Saliadario. I literally don't know. I just, random stuff. Um, then we have a marksmanship hunter named Valerikia. Valerika or something. It, does anyone else do that where they name their character something and they like don't actually even know how to pronounce it because that's me literally all the time. Uh, then down here we have this random paladin that again is clearly not transmogged. Her name is Glimmer. Uh, down here we have a night elf druid named Nightfall. And then just a random ass. I don't even know why. I'm going to delete her. White mane. And then this random... I felt like questing in the Dry Night Starting Zone for some reason I named her Snift because that is what Lita's friend Tilly named her first Dry Night when they did their like their stream about trying to teach Tilly how to play well. So yep, yeah, um, now we're kind of just getting into, I don't even want to explain this anymore so I'm just going to go through 67 Death Knight, 16 Rogue, um, I accidentally skipped over this realm. So I literally have no rhyme or reason to what realms I play on, I just choose random ones. This character is a mage that I leveled up with my boyfriend when I got him to try WoW with me, so that's pretty cool. So I haven't touched her since the last time I played with him because, yeah, I'm like waiting to play again with him so we can pick off where we left off. He was playing a rogue, I believe, and he wasn't really digging it since he didn't know what he was doing. I told him to play a hunter, but he did not listen to me, so... Whatever, then a random death knight, random druid. Again, I have a lot of druids and paladins and hunters. <laughs> it's like a thing. Um, paladin, random, random. I don't don't even ask me about the names. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. I was probably making them with my boyfriend as a joke. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Next in line here, got a random druid and a random paladin yet again. Uh, I think two more. Emerald Dream is the realm that Lita plays on, so I think I made some characters just to talk to her. Oh, another <laughs> character named Alindridi, this time a hunter. And Random Shaman. I used to have a night elf that I made a long time ago that I used to talk to Lita on WoW. We like whispered back and forth a bit, but I guess I deleted her because she was just level one or something. And the last realm, I don't even know what this is. Uh, Random Priest with really weird transmog apparently. So, yeah. Um, so I realized this is probably really just boring and stupid, and especially because basically the only interesting realms where it's like anything significant is Kil'jaeden, Wind Windrunner, and Illyria. The rest is just completely unnecessary. But yeah, those are all of my characters. So if you guys are ever playing WoW, and you see me running around or see any of my characters' names or anything, please feel free to whisper me or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a requested video, so I figured I would do it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of my characters or any transmog pieces that I have, or just any comments or anything about anything, just go ahead, leave them down below. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was just really stupid and boring, but yeah, you asked for it, so here we are. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye, guys.